Hello, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. And today is Card Fold Friday. So I want to show you a card that I created. And I've got one item, so I'm going to grab it. Sorry about that. I forgot completely my cutting pad. Okay, so anyway, so this is Card Full Friday. And I want to show you a card I made. And I'm hoping everybody can see this. This is a screen fold card. Now, I did this one with Going Global and several other stamp sets. Traveler. Going global. Let's get away. And the open sea. So there's four different stamp sets I used on this. Now, you could on this move this up just a little farther and find the one that says happy retirement or anything like that or leave a space for you to sign. So you could do that. So what I want to do is I want us to take a look at that and then I'm going to show you another card I made that's also a screen fold. I got this one a little over too far on the one side here. But I'm going to show you how to make this. So let's get going on this. I'm going to show you at least the base of it. And I'm going to give you the measurements. Okay. So we're going to start out with Island Indigo at a five and a half. We already know it's 11 down and we're going to leave it at 11 down. So I'm going to cut it and that's all I'm doing. So if I'm off camera guys, all I'm doing is cutting this at five and a half. Okay. Okay. Now our next move is we're going to score it. And I'm going to take this punch and put it way up there for a minute because I'll explain what we're going to do with that in a minute. So I'm going to bring my arm all the way out. And we're going to score this. I've got my notes here. We're going to score this at two and three-fourths. So two and three-fourths. And I will have the measurements on the blog for you on the scoring. Five and a half. And guys, I never panic too much if you don't see me necessarily always score because I figured everybody knows how to score. Now this is eight and a fourth. Okay. So again, eight and a fourth. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to set this down for the moment. And we're going to valley fold this. So what I'm going to do is I'm folding in half. Then I'm going to fold it back. And I'm going to fold it again. You've got a valley fold. Okay. Then, I didn't on this one. But you could take and find a decorative edge punch that you like. And punch it across the top. Okay. On it. I wanted more room to cut my designs. So that's why I didn't do it. Plus... I didn't want I, some of the designs on the punches, I think, a little more feminine, and I didn't want it so feminine. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take this punch here, which has the curls in, on it, and I can't think of the name of it, but it's a label punch. We're going to bring it in, and I want you to see this. There is your fold right there. So now I'm going to bring it over, and let's just hope I didn't... And I don't want it too far up. So you don't want it too far up. You want to kind of get it even. And we'll do it again. I hope you're all seeing this. And another one here. Okay. Get rid of the pieces off to the side. Okay. So now you have your screen. Okay. 
So now we're going to go over the dimensions. I'm going to do a little cutting for you. I'm not going to put the design on. And we're going to talk about design in a minute too. And that's why I want to spend a little more time on that. Okay, now I've got black cardstock. And that is my background. And I'm going to show you the other one in a minute. This is a two and a half. Okay. So I'm cutting it at two and a half. Okay. Then I'm going to cut it at four and a half. Okay. And you're going to get a couple pieces out of this. At two, at uh, four and a half. Okay. And you'll have a little piece left over. Okay. I'm only going to do a couple of these. Okay. Then I'm going to go cut some white. And this is at two and three eighths, which is just a little after the two and a fourth mark. So you're going to cut that down. And you're going to cut it at two, I mean four and a fourth. Sorry about that. Four and a fourth. Four and a fourth. Okay. Now I'm going to set that on the floor. Then what you can do, I want you to see this, you can take and stamp your design of what you want. And I will have a picture of this screen on the blog site for you guys. And I will give you a list of my supplies that I used for making that scene. So now the first one out of here, which is your opening here, was from Going Global Paper. Okay. So that would have been your first screen, and it's all backed with black on this one. So then I would have done that. I would have done another one here. And I would have done it here. Now, you could always choose on the very last one here to just leave it blank, put your comments. Maybe coworkers are signing or something like that because it's a retirement you could put enjoy your retirement and then sign it. So you could do it a variety of ways on this one. Okay, so I wanted you to see how you just put it together and glue it. So I will have that on there. Okay, now, I want to discuss a couple things with you. This is the birthday one I did. And I can post that on the site and give you a list of supplies on this. Then when you go to fold it closed, take the twine that is on. I'm going to turn it this way first. Take your twine, and you could use black and white on that other one to tie it shut too. And these will fix, fit, fit, try that again, fit in your A2 envelopes, your standard envelopes that we all use. So now you could just tie this shut, and you would have it. Okay, I'm not going to tie it real tight because I'm going to have to unfold it. But tie it and then you will have it where it's fast and closed and into your envelope. Okay, and these will go out on regular postage. So here's this one. Now what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is when you go to decide what you're doing on the screensaver card in all the different um, panels, couldn't think of the word, panels on this. One, obviously, you're going to be thinking what occasion you want. Is it a birthday? Is it a retirement? Is it for a male or is it a, for a female? Okay, and what their likes are. Then once you've figured all that out, then go through your stamps, your catalog, see what you're short. I'm more than willing to help you on an order. You can go right on my uh, Stampin' Pink Rose and order. Pick your ones that you want on your stamps, your punches. This was hand cut out. This was candy dots. This was the punch. And these were punched out balloons. And I stamped these with fancy pants 
and one other one and I don't remember the name of that one but it was the one that had the wish on it uh, apologize for my um, mint macaroon can't find the refill bottle right now and so it's really faded and everything else then what you're going to do is figure out the colors that you're going to use which ties with the paper now I'm going to bring up the paper here this is the birthday paper remember it's listed down here all the different colors that are in this wonderful pack okay so what you can do is go through through the colors decide the colors and in this case it's melamambo mint macaroon and crushed curry so now go through your colors decide what colors you want that are going to work with your paper and then start get your stamp sets out lay them out then start deciding what you want to put on each one okay I thought it was kind of cute just for you and then it says happy birthday happy birthday but decide what you want to put on it what you want to put on your paper look at your frames if that's the case that you want to use a frame you can put a frame on and do it that way so I'm gonna give you some ideas I'm gonna have them on my blog site and by the way I was this is taking a lot more detail than I planned on doing these two things listing them on my blog so I may not today get to the fancy full video but if nothing else, I'll get it done over the weekend, and I will get it posted to you. I know I promised today, but I've just had a little much going on here. So I'm not making excuses, but it does happen to us all. So I will get you the fancy fold so you get a better cut, and you can see the video and see it how it's cut better. Let me know if you're having problems seeing this video. I'm hoping I've gotten the camera zoomed in right and aimed right for you guys so that you can see it. I look at it and it looks fine to me. I thought maybe it, we needed it closer, but I have zoomed it out. So I'm hoping that'll help. So again, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose with great stamping ideas for you to create some of your own um, creations. Copy mine if you want. You're more than free to do that. And enjoy your hobby. And have a great day. Thank you.